Hey yo, it's Brian here. Today, talking about the San Francisco 49ers. In this one, predicting the game between the 49ers and Cowboys happening this Saturday in Dallas. I'm excited for this matchup. I hope you guys are as well. NFC wildcard matchup. This is probably the biggest matchup, I would say, in the whole wildcard weekend because it's the 49ers and Cowboys. Very great rivalry back in the 90s. Both teams are very popular. It's a fun one. It's going to be a fun one. Both teams are hated somewhat by teams outside of San Francisco and Dallas, respectively. But hey, I don't think the Cowboys actually... Actually, it's just because we don't play them often. I probably would have hated the Cowboys if I was watching the whole rivalry back in the 90s. But since they haven't really played much in our lifetime, I don't really hate them as much. It's more like, I guess, Seattle and even the Raiders because they were in California back in the day. But, you know, the Cowboys, I'll give them a little bit of respect. But still, it's always nice to beat the Cowboys, right? I'm going to be talking about that. Talking about all the things that are important for the 49ers in order to beat them this Saturday and quote-unquote pull the upset. I don't think it'd be a biggest upset because the 49ers are coming in very hot. I'm just going to be talking all about that in a little bit. I hope you guys have a great Tuesday. Nothing too crazy for me. And I'm just excited for the 49ers that they're in the playoffs. The half of the game against the Rams. I thought the season was over. We were like, oh, they did pretty well considering everything happening. Just a low start. But hey, they're 10-7. and 7, Make the playoffs. I'll definitely take it. Before I get the video started per usual, please like and subscribe. That's going to definitely help me out a lot. Click that bell notification to get notified of future videos. Share this content with Fel Night of Faithfuls. Have a new podcast out if you guys want to check it out. Link will be in the description below. Let's get this started. 49ers versus Dallas Cowboys prediction. Who is going to win this game. All right, let's talk about this game prediction time. Who am I going to pick to win this game? First off, let's talk about the Dallas Cowboys. I don't really talk about them too much in this channel because we don't really play them as often. I think we played them in 2020, but that was when the 49ers were just absolutely down low with all the injuries. This is a playoff game. Very important, and I think the 49ers are healthier now than they were in 2020. Let's talk about them first. They're a really good team. They have a great quarterback, I would say, Dak Prescott. They have a good running game in Zeke when he wants to turn it on. If I look at the whole Cowboys team, they're a fantastic team. Top team in the NFL when they want to be. We've seen performances where they just like, wow, they dominated that team. The game against the Washington football team on Sunday night, yes, it's against Washington, but that was an absolute annihilation right there. But they can have big duds like the game against the Arizona Cardinals where they just laid an egg. The Denver Broncos, that was a bad game as well for them. And that was in Dallas for whatever reason. They just couldn't handle it whatever Denver does have a good defense but them Dallas they're just a better team overall it didn't happen at all that's very disappointing for them so they've had some losses like the 49ers in terms of games that they should have won that's just the nature of the NFL right I don't know which Cowboy team's going to show up if it's going to be the really good one then yeah it's going to be a big danger to the 49ers but if it's the one that doesn't want to show up for whatever reason like the Broncos game should be an easy game that's how I'm going to summarize the Cowboys very inconsistent team like the 49ers very high lows very high highs. That's how I could pretty much summarize the Cowboys. You look at the whole roster, it's really good, especially on defense. They have a lot of good pieces on that side of the ball. It's led by Dan Quinn. Shanahan and Quinn know each other from Atlanta when they made it to the Super Bowl together. Great players like Demarcus Lawrence. He's having a career resurgence. Trayvon Diggs leading the NFL in interceptions. He's more of a hit and miss guy. You either throw a lot of yards on him or he makes you pay and causes a turnover. That's how I'm summarizing him. So it's kind of a mixed bag of what you want to throw to the ball to him or not. Another big piece of their defense this year, rookie Micah Parsons. He is just an absolute phenom. He could be in the running for defensive player of the year. Do I think he's going to win? Probably not because they're probably going to give it to TJ Watt of Pittsburgh. Parsons, he had a really good epic rookie year and an epic year just as a player in general. I could see the argument of him being defensive player of the year if you really wanted to, but I don't think he's going to win it. That's a lot of respect right there. He's going to be a really good player in the future. Offensively for the Cowboys, I think I mentioned them, led by Dak Prescott. Depends which Prescott wants to show up. If it's the guy that's going to throw for like 400 yards or the guy that throws for like 150 yards. It's a mixed bag of things. Another bad thing about the Cowboys is their special teams unit. Greg Zerline, he's been very on and off this year. He's probably cost him at least two or three games this year in particular. If they had a consistent kicker, then they probably would be winning more games than just, I think, 12 games that they won this year. That's a little bit disappointing that it has to come down to kicking, but at the same time, you have to have a good kicker in order to win those very important games just at the Minnesota Vikings right there. If I'm looking at it, I think the Cowboys, they're going to be a big threat. But at the same time, the 49ers, they have some countermeasures in order to play really well. Running game, always consistent. You have Elijah Mitchell. He's looking really good for this matchup. I can't wait to see what he does. Trent Williams, he should be available for this game on Sunday or Saturday, I should say. That's going to be great news right there. K1 Williams, he might be able to make an appearance as well. That's going to be a big bolster to the defense. 49ers did a very good job against the LA Rams in the second half of that game. They absolutely dominated. In typical 49ers versus Rams games, 
fashion. That's just how it is with Sean McVay versus Kyle Shanahan, right? Looking forward to seeing Jimmy Garoppolo throw the ball a little bit. Give it to your playmakers. The biggest guy, Debo Samuel. Everybody has to cover him. Everybody knows about him, but for whatever reason, nobody can stop him. It's really difficult to stop him because he does everything from the running game to the receiving game. Shanahan just puts him anywhere he wants and it'll be successful anywhere. Even being a quarterback, throwing a touchdown to Juwan Jennings, right? Speaking of Jennings, big breakout start for the 49ers. I can't wait to see what he does in this game against the Cowboys. Keys to win this game are the most obvious things. Don't turn the ball over. The 49ers, they did a really bad job at that with two against the Rams. They cannot afford to do that in the playoffs. This is playoff football time. If you make mistakes like that, you will be out of the playoffs real quickly. So Jimmy got to be very careful of that. Play very good defense. Run the ball very well, which the 49ers, they do a very good job of this whole year for the most part is being able to run the ball and play very good defense. Cowboys, they could do the same thing as well. We'll see what this whole thing goes to. It's going to be winning in the trenches and we'll see which one can win in the trenches. Definitely. If I'm picking the team to win this one, I'm going to be picking the Dallas Cowboys to win this one. I'm just kidding. I'm picking the 49ers to win this one. I'm going to be picking the quote unquote upset for this one. I think the 49ers, they're very hot right now. They came hot at a perfect time. Everybody's coming as healthy as possible. For the most part, this is going to be in Dallas, but there's going to be a lot of 49er fans. I believe like the game against the Rams last week, that was just all Red Sea 49er fans in SoFi Stadium. That was amazing to see. Picking them to win this matchup. If I had to pick a final score, I'm going to be picking the 49ers to win this game 26 to 21. That's just on my mind for whatever reason for the past day or two now. That's what the score is telling me to pick for this particular matchup. I'm going to be sticking to it right now. That's pretty much it, you guys. Please let me know what you guys think about the 49ers and Cowboys game. Please let me know in the comments below on who you guys got winning this game and have some fun with this. If you're a Cowboy fan, please comment below as well. Please like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys up hopefully tomorrow or Thursday. Talk more about the playoffs and talk about more about the 2021 season in the regular time. Bye, guys. Love y'all. Y'all have a great rest of your night. Go Niners all day.